Hi everyone, Mark here and welcome back to my channel where you get your LEGO information before you buy. In front of us we have the LEGO New York City Architecture Building Set, which is number 21028. It comes with 598 pieces and it's for ages 12 and older. Now you could pick this up for $59.99 at retail price. I ended up getting the set for free from a student in my class who uh, found out I enjoy doing LEGO. He ended up getting halfway through it and was just like, I just don't plan on finishing it, so you could have it. I think you'd like it more than I would. Um, so I'm super thankful for the student uh, giving me the set. Uh, I can't thank him enough. It looks gorgeous. Um, it took me about an hour to build. Um, so before we get started, get into all the pros and the cons and all the details of the building. Uh, if you don't want to miss another video or have never seen my videos, uh, please go ahead and check them out. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video. Um, if you're extra friendly, leave a like. And uh, I, I look forward to showing you some more later on. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's take a look at the Statue of Liberty. Um, zooming in right now, you can see that the Statue of Liberty is on top of this single stud and on top of this uh, post right here. Um, the one gripe I have is the Statue of Liberty doesn't have her arms sticking up, but that's not a big deal. You know what it is just looking at it. Um, but the whole thing is laid out by this post and you got a couple of these uh, flat bricks and underneath those are single studs. Um, right around it, going all around is greenery. Uh, so they're flat bricks once again, and then you have the flat clear bricks to make up the water. As we move into the Empire State Building, you'll notice that at the top you got your, your post, and then we go, we go ahead and move on down, you'll see that there are these great style bricks, excuse me if I don't know what they're exactly called, but, um, but you know, behind them are just regular uh, two by one bricks, but you know, it goes all the way down and to the very bottom, you'll notice that they, they switch kind of direction. Um, and if we go ahead and rotate it, you have some on that side, uh, they're more of just the regular bricks there. And then same thing on the back here, you'll notice more of those great bricks again, and obviously uh, on the other side, which is right over here. Um, so it, it all stays pretty symmetrical. This is one of those re um, redundant buildings that I was talking about earlier. It, it just kind of gets a little redundant and gets a little boring to build. However, the final product of it is really beautiful, um, very appealing to look at, it's very detailed, just not too much fun to build. As we move in on the Chrysler building, we'll take a look at the top. You can see that we have the, uh, the posting up here. You have your, your stick style brick, um, you have your cone style cylinder brick, your plates, and then back to those cone style bricks that are uh, alternating um, one, two, three, four on each side. And then you have this alternative pattern here, which is the uh, two by two white brick. Uh, they go and alternate with the one by two clear bricks and it, it just goes all the way around. You'll see that there's one here and one here. Um, not a very good, it, the camera doesn't pick it up as well, but it just goes all the way down. It's this huge pattern. So you have a little bit of redundancy for a while, um, but overall that detail is beautiful. You'll see it if we turn it around, go to the back, it's the same thing. Go back up here and there you go. That is your Chrysler building. As we move on down to the flat iron building, this is the smallest building besides obviously the Statue of Liberty, which is not really a building, but you'll see that up here. You could notice that there's a single flat piece right here. And then you have these um, similar flat pieces right here, as well as the, uh, the ones that kind of stick out more to a, like an angle. Then it makes up a ton of these singular studs that go all the way down. And then you have these angled uh, bricks as well, these, these angled flat pieces. Um, so if we line it up, you'll see that it, it's diagonal over here flat on one side. If we rotate it around, you'll notice flat over here. Uh, so you still get, you get a lot of detail going on over here on the sides and it just looks really beautiful. Um, this is another redundant set that you put together, but it just looks great overall in the uh, final product. And last but not least, we have the One World Trade Center, which is the tallest building of the set. If we zoom in, you'll notice that we have the singular stick. We also have uh, circular uh, pieces that hold the stick up on top of the uh, singular um, the flat plate that is on top and it's really made up of these uh, flat plates that go all the way around you have these diagonal uh, pieces that connect to these uh, flat gray pieces right here um, and it just goes all the way around it, it looks honestly it looks gorgeous it's really smooth how they did that uh, we will go ahead and move on down you'll notice that there's these flat pieces again um, right behind them are it's, it's a kind of a, a, a stack of these uh, long flat pieces as well. Moving on down, some more of those flat pieces and you got your singular ones as well. And the whole thing is just, at the bottom, it's just a bunch of gray pieces that are flat or they have little tiny studs that stick up to hold them in place. You got your water, the base is all black. Overall, it's, it's not too much to really um, 
kind of go over. It just looks really beautiful to look at. It, it's a lot of redundancy, but the final product is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm very pleased with it, especially for it being free to me, so I can't complain. In front of us, so we have the actual New York City Lego architecture box, which is it's it's quite stunning with the black background. You have the actual set in front of us uh, displayed right over here. You have the Lego logo. You have it saying New York City, uh, New York, USA. And then underneath on the left side, you have all your detail. When we go ahead and turn it around to the back, you'll see all the um, different buildings that it comes with. It actually tells you uh, the listing, the names of the building. It gives you a couple of descriptions in different languages. Um, don't mind these tears right here. This was uh, before I even got the set. So um, it's, it's really beautiful to look at. It gives you a lot to uh, get informed on. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the booklet real quick. Right here we have the booklet with the same box art uh, detail going on here. You have all the details on the left. You have your logo. If we go ahead and flip right through it, you'll see that there's a lot of information. Um, you'll see like it, it literally just goes on and on. Uh, you have all these pictures of certain parts of New York. You have a whole thing with the description of New York right here. You have one for each building in English. Shows you a picture of it. Same thing, Flatiron Building. You have your Statue of Liberty. You have the information on the Chrysler Building. And you also have it for the one, uh, I'm sorry, the Empire State Building right here. And then it kind of just starts over and it just gives it to you in a different language. Then you have your instructions. And then at the very end of it, you get your, your pieces page. But it's a, it's a nice booklet. It's thick because it adds so much different languages to talk about the, uh, the buildings it's, itself. So my final thoughts real quick, I'm gonna list the pros and then I'll go with the cons. So the pros are, uh, it is a really easy build. It, it, it's small, but gorgeous. The whole thing is about 10 inches wide and 10 inches tall. Um, I, I honestly think, uh, in, you know, the fact that it includes a lot of notable buildings, uh, it, that makes it so great itself. The set itself is very stable. Um, it takes a good amount of time to build for the price. Like I said, I think it took me about an hour and you know, for $59.99, you can't go wrong and it leaves you with a beautiful set. Um, there's a lot of great detail in each building. Uh, you know, like I said, with the great bricks and the, uh, the singular studs, um, the alternation of the white and uh, clear bricks. As far as it goes with the cons, I think, uh, some, some buildings are just kind of redundant to build, such as the uh, Empire State Building, the um, the Chrysler Building. So it, it gets a little boring when you get halfway through it and you kind of just hope to finish it out pretty quickly. Uh, however, it is it is a fine looking thing to look at. Um, and then the Statue of Liberty not having the arm up, which is you know one of the notable things about that piece. Uh, it, it should have its arm up, but uh, you know I make the exception of uh, maybe Lego just doesn't have something like that, or clearly they don't because they would have put it in there, but um, it would have been nice if they created a, a special version of a uh, Lego, Lego minifigure, mini minifigure to have it. But overall, that, that's my, my opinion on it. I, I think it's a, it's a beautiful set. You can't go wrong with it. It'll look great next to a couple of your other architectural buildings. You know, if you have San Francisco or Chicago, which I still want to get Chicago, that's where I'm from, so it'd, it'd be nice to have that. But if you enjoyed this video, if uh, it was, it was helpful to you if you wanted to buy it, um, which I do highly recommend. It looks great. Please subscribe to my channel. Help a brother out. And uh, leave a like if you're feeling extra friendly. Uh, comment on it. Tell me what your thoughts are if you plan on getting it too. Um, other than that, I appreciate you watching this video. Take care, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video.